Final round of this year's Six Nations is upon us. It's a real pity that this one has to end. It's been a fantastic tournament with some great games, including that Scotland versus Ireland won last weekend. Um, we're going to go through the three fixtures that we have on Super Saturday in the time order that they're going to happen. Then we'll have a look at the table and some permutations as well. Um, there will be longer um, previews for each of the games um, as the teams come out over today as well. Um, we're going to start now with the first one, which is Scotland versus Italy, which is a 1230 GMT kickoff. It's in Edinburgh. Uh, for Scotland, there's no Russell or Hogg. For them, they're both got injured against Ireland, so they're going back to um, their respective clubs. There is a possible debut for Ben Healy, who switched allegiance from Ireland um, to Scotland. He may make his debut from the bench for them. Scotland are going to be looking to end on a high. They've had some fantastic performances, especially um, that win against England. Um, probably on a bit of a low after the second half against Ireland, but they'll need to you know, lift themselves again because this Italy team aren't a walkover anymore. I would expect those Scotland to win this one. They could possibly finish second if results go their way. And more likely they're going to finish third, which would be their best Six Nations finish to date. Um, in terms of Italy, um, they've been great this year. Um, but looks like they're probably going to end uh, winless. You know, it would be a hell of a result if they were to manage to win this one. But I think whatever happens with them, people have more respect for them now. Um, you know, it's going to be a long time before we, the people crawl out of woodwork looking for them to be um, dropped from the tournament. So they really have done a lot for their reputation um, this year. And a big performance here against Scotland will just enhance that as well. Um, the next game then is France versus Wales in Paris. It's a 2.45 p.m. kickoff GMT. Um, France, they're going to be without uh, Willemse, who's out with a hamstring injury. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, can they reach the same highs as they did against England? Um, if they do, then Wales are in for a, a tough afternoon against them. Probably going to, like after an amazing performance like that, generally you do see like a bit of a drop off in the next game. So probably going to happen in this one. Um, Wales will look to um, kind of make it a bit scrappy as well. I think they still have a chance to win the championship, but they do need England to um win in Dublin for that to happen. Um, in terms of Wales, um, they got their, their win last week, but um, no one really expects them to get anything out of this game. And I'm not really sure if they've made much progress this Six Nations. Um, a lot of chopping and changing from Gatland in the team. Really, you know, you can't tell where what's the best 15 and where that best 15 are in comparison to everyone else, really. Um, but a good performance here in this one would give at least give them something to build on going into the World Cup warm-ups. Uh, the last one then, the Grand Slam game, Ireland versus England is at 5 p.m. GMT in Dublin. Um, Ireland obviously chasing a Grand Slam on uh, St. Patrick's weekend. Um, you know, a momentous occasion for them because um, they've never um, in the Six Nations era won a Grand Slam in Dublin. Like the, the two that they did win were in Cardiff and um, where was the other one? The other one was in Twickenham, right, um, respectively. So, um, and the last Grand Slam game, in Ireland was actually England coming to win the Grand Slam. And then Ireland were party poopers that time. So it could be the other way around here. A loses, losing bonus point um, would also be enough for them if France fail um, to get a bonus point win. Um, and if France win with a bonus point and Ireland lose without one, France would be champions. Um, and then there's, there's lots more permutations we go through when we look at the table. Um, England, 
it's the first time I remember um, then going into a game against Ireland with a lot of people talking about them looking for a performance rather than a win. Um, I, I, like I've been watching rugby um, all my life and never have been in that situation where nobody ex- is expecting England to get anything out of a game against um, Ireland and, you know, not even contemplating a win, just looking for a, a decent performance after last week's uh, humiliation for them. doesn't mean that they can't win, though. It's just that the expectations really aren't there. Um, it did look like they were making progress under Bortwick, um, you know, in the first three rounds. But last week kind of changed all that. Um, but if they do win, it would be a monumental result and would kind of have shades of 2019, I think, for Ireland as well. You know, just when it looks like everything's going well for them, England rock up um, and kind of, you know, uh, kick over the sandcastle, as it were, and kind of make them doubt themselves again. So, it'll again, it's going to be, I think, an immense game. I think England will come out and really try and go at Ireland, and we it's going to be a big test for Ireland at that one. Um, let's have a quick look at the table now. So at the moment, Ireland sit on top um, with four from four with 19 points. France second then, uh, three from four with 15 points. Scotland there in third um, with 10. England fourth with 10 as well. Wales in fifth with five. And Italy down the bottom then with one point. So let's start with Italy first. So Italy... Um, if they really could pull off a massive shock and get a win in Scotland, then they could leapfrog Wales um, and finish in fifth. If they were to get a bonus point win and Wales got a losing bonus point, then it would come down to um, two points difference. And also if Italy won without a bonus point and Wales lost without a bonus point, again, would be points difference there. But realistically, you're probably looking at uh, Italy finishing last there. Um, Wales then, bonus point win for them, depending on how other results go, could see them um, finish up as high as third place. That's if Italy beat Scotland and Scotland didn't get a losing bonus point. Um, And it was a massive swing in points difference and England lost against Ireland um, with no um, bonus points for losing as well Um, and again um, points difference would have to swing in Wales um, favour the reality I think is that they're probably going to finish fifth though Um, next in England if they do pull off that win against Ireland they could finish as high as um, second, but again, you're looking at like more unlikely results. So the likes of um, Wales winning um, in Paris, England getting a bonus point against Ireland, Scotland not getting a bonus point against um, against Italy. Um, Realistically, probably shooting for third and just trying to better Scotland's result in order to do that. Um, Scotland then currently in third, they could finish second. Um, that would again would mean, um, you know, Wales winning in Paris and then Scotland getting the bonus point against Italy and um, the points difference going in their favor. So probably the you know most likely position for them to finish I think is third. France, um, as I said, they can win the championship and retain their title. Um, bonus point win against Wales, and then Ireland not getting this, getting a bonus point against um, losing and not getting a lose, losing bonus point against England would be the most likely um, scenario for that to happen. If the two um, finish on the same amount of points, which can happen in a number of different ways, then um, 
they would still have to make up that 20 point difference but if ireland are losing against england and france are winning like that 20 points can go fairly easily um then ireland um you know for them basically they've got to get to 21 points um so they could do that with a draw they could do that with um losing and getting a bonus point and a um try bonus point as well um or just winning would get them above that any kind of win um and their champions and then uh the other scenarios come into play um basically if they if they lose um but yet um most people would expect them to beat England and to claim the their Grand Slam. As an Irish fan, I'm still really nervous about the game. Um, we don't win that many Grand Slams. We've only won three in our history. Um, and I really am hoping that we're going to be able to, to do it. Um, but whatever happens, it's going to be a great weekend of um, rugby. And as I said, I'm going to have individual previews out later today. So look out for those.